all the joints on this battery effect project. Uh, from what from what people that have uh, scoured the net and, and have downloaded um, all the projects that I've done and, and the other things that I've done with other people, you got the out of sight stuff, um, you got the uh, CN dash in stuff, you got some of my earlier mixtapes. This project is going to be on the opposite of that of that stuff. You know, it's it's not as soulful yet there is still that soul element because I have that inside of me, you know what I'm saying? I got the rhythm and, and the soulful vibes inside, so no matter what I chop, it could be a rock and roll sample or something. It's going to feel kind of warm like a soul record would. Um, but a lot of the sample choices that I chose for the, this first battery effect are a lot more... Um, they're a lot more outside of the box of what I do. They're a lot less soul record e. There are other genres. I've ventured into uh, uh, sounds from India. I've ventured into uh, more classic rock stuff. And uh, I really just tried to come up with something and canvases that I could rock on. You know, like my tempo, exactly how I like it. And I was just going to go in on it. And I had like 15 to 20 joints, all right? And uh, I sent them to all my reference points. I got three main reference points that I sent records to. And the first one is Miles Bonnie. And the second one is DJ Kids One. And the third is DJ Jog Max. And I sent these out to, uh, to these guys and Approach too. I sent one to Approach. And I got the feedback from these gentlemen that, that I look at their work and I'm like, wow, you know, I sent this to them and they hit me back with feedback. And I took all of that, what they were telling me about what the album needed, what it lacked, um, what it, what was dope. And I took it and I, I made it mine. I listened to it and I, I learned from it just how I've done throughout my track and field career and throughout my, my, my education and everything. I take what I hear and what I see and I put it into what I can do, what I feel comfortable with. So, with that being said, I edited this record like three or four times, man. And every time I edited it, I took something out and I create something new. This shit has been going on, Battery Effect has been going on for a good year. And, uh, you know what I'm saying, I'm ready, for, I'm ready for cats to listen to it. I'm ready for the feedback. I'm ready to hear where I should take it next. And... Uh, Hez is going to enjoy this shit, man. Word up.